profound spirituality. Then we now, uh, we will have many of us probably would not have heard Papa's voice, seen Papa in body. So here is an opportunity he is giving us through a video where he defines what is spirituality, you know. We have so many concepts about spirituality. He has answered one facet of it. Let us hear. what he is sharing with us and try to ponder over. In a simple word, during his uh, foreign travel, when somebody asked some question, he replied it. That has been now brought out in the form of a vi video or... PPT. PPT, PPT. Audio. Huh? With audio. PPT with audio. PPT with audio. What does spirituality mean? That is the question. That which relates to the spirit and the experience of the spirit is spirituality. Because spirit and matter are two different things. Our body is material and the spirit dwelling in this body is spiritual. So whatever Raised to this spirit within us is spiritual. We must think, feel, and realize hmm, that we are not merely bodies, but we are the mortal spirit. Many people go with the impression that they are only the visible appearance. That is a body made up of the five elements. It's not so. There is a spirit within us. It is that spirit that makes us walk, talk, and do everything. Now, for instance, people think when they give and receive with the hands that they are doing these movements and uh, these actions themselves, as if they have got an ind independent power to do these things. There are so many movements, changes that are going on within the body, such as the action of the digestive organs within, the blood circulation, the growing of the hair. We cannot say these things are done by me. Can we say, I am doing these things? Who is responsible for these movements within us? The same power which is Responsible for these inner movements is responsible also for our outer movements. You see the wind blow, the sun giving light, the trees grow, and the birds sing on the trees. So many movements, changes are going on around about us. They are not separate movements caused by any power individual in them working accidentally or by chance or as they say due to the conquest of atoms or some such thing they explain away in order to deny the existence of a spiritual power that permeates the entire universe and is responsible for all movements and changes in it. That all pervading poverty that makes us act, talk, do everything. If we recognize this universal power and know that that power is responsible for what we do, then our ego will disappear and we will be one with universal life and universal truth and we supremely happy and free. So long as this ego is in us, which makes us feel that we are doing everything by ourselves, we are caught in a trap and we can never be happy. 
So we have been asked to design ourselves with will of God. Will is nothing but the power of God active in nature, active in ourselves. By the surrendering of ourselves to the divine power of will, we release within us that supreme bliss and peace which is locked up through the assertion of the ego, the assertion of the individual will, the so People have asked him often, what about the free will? And how does it stand in relation to the divine will? So really there is no free will. There is only divine will working everywhere. It's a mistake to think we have got any power to do anything. In the Bhagavad Gita, there is a sloka in which God says, it is my will and power that prevails in the entire world. I move this world being myself, causing all movements in it, all changes in it. And so he is at the inception, at the growth of things, and at the destruction of things. It's one power that does all these things in the universe. And if we submit to that power and know that that power is active in us, then we will be free from the ego. And that moment we realize that we are the unchanging, mortal, all pervading, spiritual, um, universal truth and spirit. To know that we are that spirit is to live in God. And this is spirituality. <laughs>